Hi, Carrie. Jane Lindsay coming to you from Post, Texas. And I just wanted to comment on your work this week. So um, I just want to let you know that I'm going to do both assignments in this video. And I'm also going to kind of read off the rubric, rubric here and there so that we're staying parallel to the requirements of the rubric. So when, before we get started, your son, I, if that's the color of his hair, I just love it. I can't see because of the images are small. Let me just make it bigger. He looks any kid that would make their hair. Let me see. It is his hair that would make their hair that color is cool and creative. So I just think that's awesome. <laughs> and then let's go on up and look. So. Yeah, I think you did an excellent job experimenting with this blurred motion. So that's, I mean, this one right here is just great. It feels, not only is it interesting blurred motion image, but it also has that element of movement of this age of kid that just makes sense in the image conceptually. So let's just look at the quickly at the rubric and um, go from there real quick. So I want to make sure I get the right one. Okay, so can you use your camera correctly? Yes, you can. These look great. I can tell you're using your camera, thinking about what you're doing and using your camera to um, accomplish the technical part of this assignment. Because actually this is another technical assignment. We need to know that you know how to freeze motion and blur motion, which is actually understanding what that means is that you understand your shutter speed. So you did a great job there. Your de designs are great. I really love that this your son is wearing this yellow shirt to go into this image, and he's got this red hair, and we're approaching into fall. It's just an interesting combination of um, content and color and design, so that's really nice, too. And then your daughter is also involved, I, heard, I read, and on your paper, and this these are some great, I can see this looks like a 17 year old's light drawings. They're just great and your photographs are really good. And no, we can't see her at all. I don't know if dressing, I guess she could, probably could have seen her maybe if she was dressed in something that would reflect in the dark. But anyway, these are really great images. Now let's look at your, um, about your design, your form and content. Great, it's good. Ooh, I love this one. Look at the face in that one. Sorry, I got distracted. Let me just get right up there. I want to see it. This one has a face. That's what I love about these images. That's cool. Okay, so let's move on. Um, your content's good. Your form's good. Your design is good. And your camera, um, your camera use is done well. So this one's a little bit um, overexposed. There's a couple that are just a little, but still, by the by, on all, those are great images. And yes, I get that you're making this happen just by looking at your shutter speeds. Okay, so now let's go. I just want to quickly look at the form. Yep, I'm going to pick that. I picked that one. Yeah. Is that the face one? What's the image number? I don't know. Oh, no, you picked this one. <laughs> I picked this one. They both kind of look like little aliens. So, okay. Well, these look great, Carrie, and I'm pleased with um, what you got done here on this assignment. So spectacular, girl. All right, so now I'm going to go to the Photoshop one, or the this uh, Lightroom one. And using the Blur tool here doesn't really do much to make this image better, but um, you still need to try it. And so I think I would have chosen another image. I don't know. I mean, this one was a good one to use, but it definitely doesn't make it better. This is the better one of the two. I don't think it really says it has to make it better though. So you're using that those tools the way it's not exactly the way I want you to use them, but it's proficient in the use of them, if that makes sense. So okay, in your design, and this one's fine. Everything looks good with it with the sharpening tool. It does make it darker, but it doesn't really um, it does enhance it right here. I can see in this and so in here too. So it's really has made a difference. In you just have to be really careful with these tools and um, use them effectively. And so 
what would have been better in use of this one would be you could do it in Photoshop so you could select your background and then leave him sharp and just blow the background. Okay, so now your designs, I've kind of talked about that. So I'm not going to be able to give you a, a, you know, a design. I will have to be able to do an, an improve, you know, needs a little bit of improvement there. But um, still, there's that's really the worst thing. Your color and sharpness and exposure and your original image are good. These two, it's just this one. And I'm only going to give you one place for that. So, and then here are your post production and stylistic colors and content, all real good. So you'll just have a little ding on the um, on this image here, and it won't be too painful. So good job, Carrie, and um, you just keep up the good work. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, you have a great night. Ciao.